Question number four, Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order, order, order. I've called Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Building and Housing and asks, does he agree with the Reserve Bank Governor's advice in relation to the proposed changes to the Welcome Home Loan Scheme and KiwiSaver subsidies that, and I quote, over the longer term, subsidies have the potential to add to existing house price pressures in what is a highly overvalued market? If not, why not? Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, the member overlooks two important facts in the advice from the Reserve Bank Governor. The first is that it was dated the 18th of June and was directed at an earlier version of the Home Start package in which it was proposed to increase grants for buying existing homes by 50%. The final Home Start package, agreed by Cabinet on the 18th of August, took this advice into account and left the grants for existing homes as is. The second fact is the member does not include the Reserve Bank Governor's complete advice, in which he said, and I quote, the targeting of a higher subsidy for new homes would be expected to have a positive effect on new housing supply. Consistent with this advice, the final package only doubled the subsidies for new housing supply. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Well, with regard to new housing supply, does he agree with the Reserve Bank Governor that increasing <coughs> these subsidies will result, and I quote, in higher margins for developers and builders? Right, Honourable. Nixon. Again, the member's being cute with his quotation. He forgot the word might. Forgot the word might. Actually, it is our view that by providing a grant to the home owner, we have confidence that they'll go shop around and get themselves the very best deal. We don't agree with the member's policy, and that is they don't trust homeowners and they want the state to build the houses that they think homeowners want. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. By how much have median house prices risen in Auckland since his government took office? Mr uh, the, uh, Mr. the Speaker, Honourable Dr there Nick is Smith. new data on house prices out today. They show that in the course of the six years of this government, house prices in Auckland have gone up by an average of 5 per cent per year. It's interesting to compare that with what house prices went up per average under the previous government, where the average was 10 per cent per year or double. That is, house prices were going up at an average of double under the previous government's nine years. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Is the Minister aware that the median house price in Auckland has gone up under his government by more than $250,000, and does he think that's sustainable? Mr Speaker. Are the Honourable uh, Dr No, Smith? I don't think it is sustainable, and that's why this government has passed more legislation in respect of housing than any government in the last 20 years. The member says that it is tinkering. I would suggest that the special housing areas legislation that has opened up land for 34,000 houses, more land than what's been opened up in Auckland than in the last 10 years and the last 12 months, is the sort of policy that is required because the biggest cost increase in Auckland has been in the price of the section, and it's actually the sort of policies that's advocated around a tight metropolitan urban limit that the Green Party has supported that is at the core of Auckland's house price. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. In light of the fact that this government has been in office now for more than six years, what responsibility does he take for the fact that median house prices in Auckland have increased by more than a quarter of a million dollars? And how on earth are people supposed to afford those kind of house price increases? Uh, oh, Mr. The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, the first point I'd make is when we came to government, New Zealand was building 1,000 houses per month. The latest figures that came out yesterday is that we're building 2,000 houses per month and increased supply is at the core. 
I also admit, Mr Speaker, this. New Zealand is a lot more popular country to live in. We don't have 50,000 people a year lo losing to Australia. As a consequence, there's more demand. We on this side of the House welcome that, but we also accept the challenge that we have to build a lot more houses, given that we are now a lot more popular country to live in. That's right. Well done. Uh, supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does he think that giving ten or twenty thousand dollars subsidy to a couple to buy their first home outweighs the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar increase in the price of housing in Auckland? Is it not only a drop in the bucket compared to that price increase? Oh, Mr. Speaker, honourable Dr. Nick Smith. Uh, Mr. Speaker, in two thousand and seven, the previous government introduced the subsidies, the subsidies for people to buy a house. At that point, at $10,000. At that year, house price increases were faster than they are now. The Green Party was on record in 2007 saying that grants for first home owners were a great thing. It seems the consistency of the Green Party is that when the previous government provides a grant for first home owners, it's a great idea, but somehow when we do it, it's not a good idea. That does not sound very principled to me. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. In light of the $250,000 increase in the price of median houses in Auckland under this government, will he reconsider his policies of taking no action to restrict demand from investment buyers through a capital gains tax or from offshore demand through non-resident foreign buyers? Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, the evidence is very clear, particularly in the Productivity Commission's comprehensive report, that the biggest contributor to increased house prices is sections in Auckland. They have gone from $100,000 each in 2000 to $350,000. And the key driver of that has been the metropolitan urban limit. And that's why this government has made the number one priority breaking that metropolitan urban limit, which we have done with our special housing areas. And I wish the member would simply accept that link between dumb planning policies and high house prices. Question order. Question number five, Phil Twyford. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the minister.